Hey team, welcome to today's workout, which by the blue color in there shows that it is an intermediate level. You will need a mat for this one if you don't have a comfortable floor. The rubber can be a little bit hard on the, on the arms sometimes. Um, and if you're counting your calories, make sure you're starting your watch now because that'll give you good data that you can work with later. So in 20 seconds time, we're gonna kick off with the, the first movement of this. It's a 40 minute workout in total. And now the reason this one's an intermediate workout start is because we've we've changed the timings of the rest periods so our beginner workouts usually have a 30 second on 30 second off methodology um, this is now a half time rest so popping on the floor in five seconds we're going to do the ywts which i'll talk you through laying down here we go so what i want you to do is make the letter y as if you're doing the ymca on the floor lift the hands off the floor Make a little W by pulling your elbows back towards your back pockets, and then a T, hands out straight to the sides and lift them away from the floor. So this is all about the shoulders, the shoulders working here, the lats with a W, and then with a T, you work in the rhomboids, which are the, the muscles in the middle in between your shoulder blades. So the Y, you're gonna do traps and shoulders, W, lats, and finish it off with a T. There we go, so a short rest now, 15 seconds. We're gonna to go to kick-throughs. Move your mat out of the way. We're gonna get into a bear position, or panther position, sorry. Hands and knees. With a kick-through, you're gonna lift the right arm, kick that left leg through, and then back. Left hand up, right leg kicks through, and back. So this is why they're called kick-throughs. You're basically taking that leg, and you're kicking through to the front. Right hand up, left kick through. Left hand up, right kick through. So right hand, left kick through. Left hand, right, kick through. Five more seconds. Not long to go. Up, kick it through. Up, and take a rest. So we're at Hindus, which is a dive bomber push-up. So again, you, you can use your mat if you, like, if you want, but you're probably not gonna touch the floor with your knees on this one. What we're gonna do is get into a downward dog position. Hands on the floor, feet wide, butt up in the air, and we're gonna bring ourselves down underneath a barbed wire fence. And if you like, you can go in reverse too. If not, you can do what we call a half Hindu, which is underneath the fence, and then just kicking your butt straight back up. So, underneath the fence, and then butt straight back up. So this one, you want your chin, your chest, and then your crotch to be on the floor, pushing your butt back up. Chin, chest, crotch. Nice. Cool, so that was one triple, one triplet. We had a 30 second rest now. Are you too tall for your messy room, Yuki? Oh no. So we're gonna grab our mats again. We're gonna go through those same three movements. Now that you've learned them, you should hopefully be able to get straight into them as soon as you hear that beep. So making the Y, W, T. Here you go. Y, so your arms up at 45 degrees. Lift the hands from the floor. W, pull the lats back and the T, engage those rhomboids. So this one, shoulders, pull up muscles, and then you're squishing a grape in between your shoulder blades with that one. So Y, W, T. Try and keep your face down. Throughout all of these movements, the face down, W, and then T. So what we're trying to do here is work some of the back muscles that you traditionally don't don't work when you're doing a body weight workout. They're a little bit harder to activate. So kick throughs, down on the floor, let's go, let's go, let's go. Panther position, I'm trying to get in the middle of the room now. There we go, panther, we're gonna do right hand up, kick through with the left. Now that you know what you're doing, see if you get a little bit more pace to this, a bit more clockwork. So hand, leg goes through, hand, leg goes through. Five more seconds. Good. Up on the feet. Shake it out. You got the Hindus now. So we're gonna do the half Hindus again. So just forward and then butt up in the air. So remember our starting position is hands on the floor, downward dog, feet spread and down under the fence. Push yourself back up. So you see, 
we're basically just crawling ourselves up and under a barbed wire fence. Chin, chest, crotch on the floor. Now not on the floor, but that's what's low. So trying to get you, just rub your chin, glide it across the floor, up. So lots of shoulder mobility, lots of shoulder strength with that in there. Good. So we're gonna repeat that triple again, taking a short rest. Repetition is pretty important with these movements, especially with your, uh, with your beginner and your intermediate type movements, because a lot of the time we are trying to build foundational strength. We're trying to build some, some sort of a coordination here. So repetition is pretty key for that. The human mind, the human body, the way it works. So laying down. Y. W. And then a T. There we go. Y. W. T. Good. Y. W and T. The W's are pretty important. Actually, all of these ones, all of these out of the three, the W's and the T's, they're all pretty good for posture. They're all really, really good for, for the lat activation. And lat activation is super important for things like bench press, uh, for deadlifts, which if you've been watching for a while, you'll see that's what I struggled with for a little bit, especially with the bench press there. Okay, kick throughs. Back in the panther, knees off the floor, hand and leg. So the knees never touch the floor with this one. We're gonna return back to quadra, like a, like a quad stance, with the toes and the hands on the floor, but your knees don't drop. You wanna try and remain nimble. You wanna try and remain ready to pounce or ready to kick through. You see how when I kick through as well, this other knee points towards the ceiling. Um, that's just part of the rotation, part of the core movement with this one. So back in these half Hindus. Actually, we'll do full Hindus this time, but it's your choice whether or not you wanna do the half or you wanna do the, the, the full Hindu. Here we go. So full Hindus are gonna be chin, chest, crotch, and then reverse that. Crotch, chest, chin, push. So a little bit more co coordination required to do the full Hindus. And after yesterday, my, my pecs aren't, aren't firing like they should be. The shoulders are a little bit sore, but that's fine. We're just gonna slow it down, get that coordination balance. Good. Matt again, we need another one. Another round, YWTs. So you might think we're doing these ad nauseum. It can sometimes get that way. Sometimes a bit of a grind. You've heard that. Yeah, yesterday was hectic, Budgie. It was pretty tough. Um, so I woke up this morning actually, actually feeling quite sore, which is good. Um, you, you know you've worked. Okay, let's go. Y, W, T. Good. I'd be keen to hear if, if anyone at home managed to take that workout from yesterday into their own gym, if they have access to an echo bike or an assault bike. Um, access to a dead ball and a kettlebell and a landmine. It doesn't have to be a landmine actually. It could just be a, uh, it was about, would have been about 25 kilos. Sorry, 15 kilos. So, uh, this is something that looks like some crazy form of cardio. Depends, the kick throughs definitely. A little bit of cardio. Um, with the full Hindus as well, if you speed those up. So kick throughs, you watch. If I. If I start to add a little bit of spice to this one, you can see that my heart rate's gonna start to skyrocket. Not skyrocket, but definitely increase. So when you do start to get a little bit more coordination, you can actually start to kick through quite fast. And there you go. We're in that green zone down here. And what the green denotes is the aerobic zone. So yes, that's what a lot of people will start to classify as cardio here. <laughs> I was waiting for it, Jason. <laughs> it was either gonna be yourself or Mikey to make a, make a break dancing joke. But 
that's the thing. If you've, if anyone's actually tried to do any sorts of break dance or just dancing in general, the whole moving your body in time to music, it's quite, it's quite athletic, isn't it? And that's why you notice a lot of dancers that just have a really, really good physique and they just look, look ripped. Um, because stuff like break dancing, um, Hello, hello, butt face. How you going? Um, uh, you did ballet when you were six. Yeah, breakdancing's intense, especially when they start to do like the helicopters. Um, not not even the ones spinning on your head, but the one where you've got your legs straddled, and then they start to like flip around. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. No stress. Look, if you get out of bed and decide you want to do something. You can follow along with one of the videos later. Absolutely. All right, beast front steps. So this is a, a slight variation on the on the, uh, the the panther position pouncing. So what we're going to do here, um, uh, Andrew, put that onto the question queue, please. That's a good question. That's a great question, and I can I can spend a bit of time talking through that one if you like. Yeah. All right, beast front steps. So what we're going to do? Knees off the floor, we're sitting back on the heels. We're gonna, we're gonna pounce forward with one leg only, and then back. So pouncing with a single leg, and straightening that back leg. So this is the beast front step. We're basically learning to pounce. You're in this child's pose, almost like a child's pose, with your knees off the floor, and then you're pouncing forward with one leg, getting a really nice hip stretch, and getting a really good glute and quad activation at the same time. Good, 15 seconds rest. Knee hops. So the knee hop here, awesome, thanks Andrew. I can have a chat about that one. So a knee hop is basically a, uh, it's, what we're gonna do, it's, it's, it's similar to a, a Celsius Super Mario, if you know what we're talking about there. It's a rear lunge, hop, up, knee. Rear lunge, hop, up, knee. So we're stepping back, we're then gonna jump up with one leg in the air. Step back, jump up, one leg in the air. So it's the knee alongside a hop here. And what you're trying to do is use this bottom leg as a stabilizer. You wanna be able to jump, land, and balance, okay? <sighs> land, balance. And the helicopter, this is another really good one. With the helicopter, we're gonna be, I don't know why it's called a helicopter. This is one that which you can ask, I ask the same question. What, why, what does a helicopter have to do with this? Who knows, but you know what I mean, a high plank. Spread the legs a little bit, probably a little bit wider than shoulder width, because you're gonna grab the right hand, reach forward, reach towards the ceiling, down. Left hand is gonna reach through, and then up towards the ceiling. Right hand reaches through, and then up towards the ceiling. Left hand, through, and up. So you see, we're going from four points of contact, we're going to three points of contact, and then we're adding some instability, which your core has to fight against. Fine, fine. Yeah, just like this one. No, not quite. It's like the, the skipping rope. The helicopter, helicopter, please come down. Who used to play that? I used to try and get in with the cool kids and play with the skipping ropes, but they'd be like, nah, Jeff, this is a, this is a game for seven kids and you're the eighth. And then I'd go the next day and they'd be like, no, nah, no, nah, sorry, we've changed it so you can fit nine kids, but like you're the 10th now, so sorry, can't play with us, Jeff. Uh, yeah, beast front steps. It's like, all right, sorry. Oh man, man, they, they've made some updates to this game pretty fast. You gotta, you, gotta, uh, you gotta give it to them. They're updating the game, I'm just getting here too late. Every day. Oh no. So beast front steps, let's go. Get nimble, get low. Get those hips working, get the quads working. Whoop. And uh, knee hops. <laughs> you thought they were all about break dancing. All of them, all of them are about break dancing. <laughs> okay, we're doing the, the half Celsius. Step back, lunge, knee up, and land. Step back, lunge, knee up, land. <sighs> you wanna pretend you're a, you're a, Fitness model on a Lululemon poster. You've seen them, right? You go, snap, you know, they're, they're in the air like this going. It's, it's, the, it's the Lululemon poster, boop, 
pose. So we're gonna step back, jump up, knee in the air, land. Step back, knee up, land. There you go, cool. That's a good question too. Oh man, good questions, chat, good questions. Let me talk through that one when we, uh, when we get to it. <laughs> okay, let's get these helicopters in. Remember, spread the feet a bit. The reason why we spread the feet is when you, when you do drop to three points of contact, a triangle, a tripod, is the most, the most stable shape to be in. So you can imagine if my feet are together, I can probably give it a shot. There we go, I can do it. But I'd like you at home to try it. You'll find that by having your feet together, it requires a hell of a lot more coordination and core strength. So in terms of intermediate level, spread the feet. If you'd like to go advanced level because you feel like this isn't enough for you, for a helicopter in particular, bring those feet together, okay? You know what's really crazy? I've turned the heater off and the rain's just stopped, but it just got very, very hot in here. Very hot in here. So I think you're right, Mikey. This is that warm air, cold air, storm front moving in. I think there's, I think there's some big shit about to go down. <laughs> okay, let's go. Beast front step, bang. Oops, I, I, should, I should be very wary of swearing too. I'm, I apologize. Remind me to beat that one out before I put it on YouTube. Not that it's a huge issue, but I should probably, probably be a little bit friendly. Beast front steps, go. Kicking on your feet, on your heels, forward, step, forward, step, up. I should also mention here, oh, Jason, have you had your, you've had your, your, your dentist appointment? Mate, go rest, go rest. All right, knee hop, let's go. Jay, Jason had a crown, or I have you're having you had a crown. I'm having one in a month. It's actually I think it's about five weeks away. Worst dentist stuff. So Jason, have a good one, mate. Thanks for dropping in. I appreciate you, man. Let's go. Hey, kitty. I'm on front page. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, so we, um, Twitch has been super supportive of this channel. All right, it's starting to kick in. Oh no, Jason. Yeah, rest up. Chuck a game on, chuck a movie on. You know what you should put on, Hellraiser. One of the old ones. Because uh, you can start to, to look at the pain that you're going through. And you'd be like, oh mate, maybe I could just see it as some kind of weird pleasure thing. But just chuck on Hellraiser. Because that's what, that's what you need to see right now with a, with a gum that's just been worked on. You want to... <laughs> hooks and chains and, and blood. There you go. <laughs> Yo! Nice. Uh, oh, Budgie, wisdom teeth. Yeah. Look, teeth health, while well, we're on a fitness channel, teeth health is quite important. Your mouth health. Um, it, it correlates pretty strongly to other parts of, other bits of health. So apparently gum health and heart health, there's a connection between that. I couldn't, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, I couldn't tell you exact, but I've heard, I've read about a connection between gum and heart health. So please floss. If you're one that not, not flosses regularly, it's definitely one of those simple, simple acts that can actually pay off pretty big. Um, especially just like, just like tooth decay and just looking after your teeth in general. Flossing is quite a good habit to, to have. The obvious things, you know, like, like brushing your teeth twice a day kind of thing. Um, not too much as well, because I went to my dentist and my dentist has said, hey Jeff, mate, couple of things. I think you're either too heavy handed on yourself or you've got a, a crappy hard toothbrush. You want a soft toothbrush. Um, I've been going too hard on my gums. Okay, knee hops. Reverse lunge, hop, land. Reverse lunge, hop, land. So a reverse lunge by itself, I'd probably have that in a beginner workout because we want to learn the, the balance and the coordination to drop down onto the knee and then step up again. But by adding in the, the plyometrics of it, 
We're gonna swing that knee through and hop up into the air. Bit more power from the bottom leg required. Bit more coordination on the landing. That's why this is in the intermediate workout. Water flosses. Um, so yeah, water flossing, the floss picks. Yeah, the water picks. Um, Grace was, was telling me that I should get one. Um, she watches a podcast and apparently they're sponsored by something and she's a sucker for all that. Just, yeah, you, you support you, who you like and that's fair. So you, you enjoy watching someone so you give them some support by, by uh, checking out their sponsors. Definitely. So they do, um, they're sponsored by uh, Quip. Quip who do the toothbrush subscription services and the, and the water picks. So yeah. I reckon I'll actually might do that today. I've got a, th a bunch of things to do today. Um, so we'll check that out, see how it goes. Because I can attest, definitely attest, that I'm probably someone that doesn't replace my toothbrush often enough. I think most people don't. You know, think about it until you're there brushing your teeth and at that point you're like, oh yeah, remind me tomorrow to get a new toothbrush. And then the next day you're brushing your teeth going, oh, I was meant to get a new toothbrush today. Remind me tomorrow to get a new toothbrush. All right, so <laughs> it's a perfect, Perfect scenario for a subscription service where they just send you one every, every couple of months. All right, we got push gorillas. So we're returning to the floor, we're returning to that beast motion, that, uh, that pounce, the powerful, strong pounce. Um, and we're doing our push gorillas now. Yeah, you buy five toothbrushes. Look, that's probably a lot smarter than what I, I am. I've never thought of that, Yukio. After what, who needs to buy, like you get those packs of three and it's like, who needs three toothbrushes? Well. I will eventually, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Well, push gorilla. So what we're doing, we're in a push-up position. We're gonna perform a full push-up. And then at the top of the push-up, jump those, those feet towards the hands like you're a gorilla. Gorilla stance, okay? So push out, push down, feet up, gorilla. Push out, push down, feet up, gorilla. And now you string these together into a, into a nice old animalistic sort of crouched motion. This deep squat here, if you can jump up and land with flat feet, perfect. We want to look at our hip mobility. We want to open up those hips in the groin that we don't often do when you're sitting or even when you're a standing desk person, you spend a lot of your day like this. You spend a lot of your day either like this or like this. What we want to do is work that range of motion. And another one for the hips now, the sumo scissors. So nice wide feet. What we're going to do is squat down, touch the floor with your fingertips, wide squat, up, sit, scissor. So spread the feet for the scissors. So wide laterally, wide forward back, forward back. Wide laterally, forward back, forward back. So yeah, this is another one of those silly cardio movements. It's got a little bit of hip mobility, but then also cardio. So good fun. <sighs> nice extension plank. Now, a regular plank we have as part of the beginner. I'm not sure if we've shown these on, on stream before. I may have once or twice before. We now got an extension plank. So instead of being regular plank like this, what I'd like you to do now, hands up above your head, and we're gonna hold a plank like this, okay? So we're squeezing the butt, we're squeezing the quads. Instead of having the shoulders above the elbows, we're now holding our, our body in a kind of hollow body banana posture and we're holding this up. You can see me starting to shake. If you also start to shake, you can drop to the floor. You can rest for a short while, no stress. No stress about that at all. Uh, the expensive bamboo brushes with super soft charcoals. I got one of those Yuku, and that's, that's, a, that's actually the toothbrush that I'm thinking of that I'm talking about that I haven't replaced because I thought it was so good and like, oh, this is my good toothbrush. This is my good toothbrush. Six months later, oh, it's my good toothbrush. <laughs> Haven't replaced it. All right, let's go, push gorillas. So down on the floor, we're doing that push up and then into the gorilla. So push up, gorilla. And you can see I nearly did it. I nearly actually just out of reflex, I nearly jumped up into a burpee because that's what this is. This is the bottom half of a burpee. So you know when I say we're gonna do squat thrusts and I call that a half burpee. I can call the push gorilla also a half burpee, but it's the other half. It's the bottom half of the burpee. So beginners, once you start getting used to doing, doing squat thrusts, intermediate, once you start getting used to doing your, uh, 
your uh, push gorillas, you tie the two together and you become a burpee master. Actual burpee master. You try, oh no, you watch out. Yuki, watch out. All right, here we've got the sumo scissors. So sumo down, scissor, scissor, sumo, scissor, scissor, sumo, scissor, sumo, scissor, scissor. Again, the repetition, lots of stuff going on here. We want to keep on going, keep on repeating it. So we get better and better and better. But also we're building up that cardiovascular capacity so that one day, if you feel like at this point in time, you're in the green, you're in the orange, once you start doing more and more of this, you're gonna build up some more VO2 max, you're gonna realize that you're, you're now in the blue. You're gonna be in the blue doing things that you used to be doing the green. Um, that comes with time, comes with practice. It's not something magical. It's all just to do with, with repetition. So extension plank, here we go. So start off on your regular plank, squeeze the butt, squeeze the quads, one hand up, other hand up. And you hold yourself like this. Now, so this is slightly different to a regular plank. You're gonna find yourself actually, if you're on a slippery mat, or if you're on a hardwood floor, you might find that your feet start slipping. So for me, with the shoes on the rubber mats, perfect. Hands on the rubber mats, perfect. But you might wanna actually find a surface that you can do this on. Yoga mats are very good with this because they have a lot of grip on them. Back at the VO2 max, absolutely. So when we're talking cardio, VO2 max is gonna be one of those topics that just keeps cropping up. It's at the, it's at the core of, of cardiovascular fitness, the, that VO2 max there. All right, push gorillas, let's go. So be careful with this one, kitty. Or Yukio, be careful. So down, push, up, push, up. Let me tell you, these push-ups, they're not feeling good after yesterday, but we need to get through them. Push, up, push, up. When you're here, you, you should hopefully be able to feel your knees come up past your elbows. So do that, knees past the elbows. Hopefully you're sitting in a nice deep squat here. Get that mobility into the hips. Push, and up, stand up, shake it out. So we've got sumo scissors again. So wide feet, lots of hip openers with this one. Look like a frog, yeah. Ah, oh, cardio. <laughs> Maybe I should be push frogs, push frogs. But see, the thing is with the frogs, right? Um, we've got a friend of the stream, Pleb, who hates frogs. So he like to absolutely hates frogs. So I wouldn't want to be doing anything to, to annoy Pleb at all. Okay, so wide feet, wide. Nice, and then we got the expert. Look, I think everyone's different. I kind of ran, that, that ran through my mind as well, but I actually don't mind spiders for the most part. Um, like huntsmen's, huntsmen's and things, don't, don't care too much about them. Um, I actually, I never knew what a wolf spider was until I thought it was a huntsman and I carried one around in my hands. And, uh, and a guy that I was working with was like, whoa, your game? Picking up a venomous spider like that. I'm like, what? And he goes, wolf spiders are venomous. I'm like, oh, what, that's a wolf spider? They look pretty similar. But once you, get, once you know the difference between a wolf spider and a, and, a, uh, and, a, and a huntsman, huntsmen's are flat and their legs kind of go like this. Whereas a wolf spider is a bit more like a tarantula with the, with the upright legs. Yeah. Oh, moths, yeah, moths is a funny one too. Grace can't stand, even though she's got like the tattoo, which look, looks cool of a moth, if there's an actual moth in the room flying around, nah, -uh. watch out, get out. <laughs> push gorillas, push gorillas, let's go. Push, gorilla. Push. Push, gorilla. Oh, these push-ups, they're tough. They're tough today. So take this as a lesson, folks. If you are finding it hard to get through, just slow the reps down. Do what you can. Have a breather. I'm just gonna check these plugs real quick. There we go. 
The light's just flashing a little bit. Uh, cockroaches. House cats. You hate house cats. Oh no. <laughs> All right, sumo, squat, scissor, scissor. There we go. We're still repeating here, team. We're still getting through it. Nice. Snakes. <laughs> yeah, anything without legs that can run at all is just uh, terrifying, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm, not, I'm not too bad with snakes. I won't, I won't approach a snake, to be honest. Here in Australia, you just don't know whether something is venomous or not. Okay, let's go. <coughs> snakes are iconic. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, they are. Look, the, the fear of snakes is definitely an iconic thing. So extension plank. Um, chat, just let me know how my mic is going too. Mikey normally lets me know. Um, I've noticed a strange kink in my mic cable. So I'm wondering if maybe that's something to do with the, the crackling and popping, popping sometimes. There we go, extension plank, nice. You snapped on a brown note rope, oh no. Oh, hey, how you going, Beardy? Orb weaver spiders. Oh, Beardy, I wish, during Defiance, I wish I had my, my camera running at the time, but it was off. Um, there was one section where, where one of the, the signs had actually fallen over. Awesome, thanks, Mikey. The signs had fallen over. Um, the YWTs, you remember this team? Get your mat. And instead of me following the, the actual roadside, I went down like a drainage ditch and I, I screamed down this thing, drainage ditch, and then it kind of turned left into the forest. I'm looking around, there's, there's no signs. And so I stopped and I looked back and I'm like, oh, the road's up there, okay. And as I looked in front of me, it's lucky I didn't turn the corner and scream through because there, there was like an arachnophobia web, massive web. It was holding like branches, tree branches were hanging in this web. It was that strong. Um, so definitely an orb weaver. Whoa, whoa. Okay, why? W's and a T. So this was chat for, for context. This is in uh, North Queensland. And North Queensland has a higher density of just nope than, than other parts of Australia. Um, and I'd heard about the orb weaver spiders. Um, you, get, you get some smaller orbs in Sydney. And I used to live in Sydney, so. If you're walking home drunk, you wouldn't ever, you'd learn this pretty quickly. Don't ever walk over under like an overhanging tree on a dark sidewalk because the overhangs, the orb weavers would normally like build a bit of a thing in the overhanging tree. So you'd go, you'd step onto the road and you'd walk around it. Um, so, but in Queensland, my goodness, they're, uh, they're, they're big. Big orbs, kick threes, here we go. So you're gonna sit back on the on the heels again. Um, actually, you're gonna sit a little bit forward, knees off the ground, right hand up, left leg kicks through. Left hand up, right leg kicks through. Kick it through, kick it through team. So you see we're now doing longer sessions, we're doing 45 seconds of each one because this is the finisher. You have a look at the timer on the screen, you see that you've got seven minutes left. So we're actually running through each and every one of the movements. 45 seconds. That storm front is coming in hard and heavy. It is so hot in here. It's so hot. But it's actually, it's actually raining. Um, there were orbs through the bushland in the Flinders. Oh yeah, yeah. It was one of the golden orb weavers, yes. Nah, nah, there's, it's still pretty heavy here, Bougie. Okay, Hindus, let's go. So, butt up in the air. We're gonna go down under the fence and then reverse it. So again, imagine that barbed wire fence. Imagine yourself scooching under there, squeezing the butt of the top here and then back in reverse. So you can see the, the shoulder mobility I need. You can see the shoulder power that you need to get your chest up off the ground in both of these directions. And also just the power in the triceps. 
So keep me hovering off the ground as you slide forward under this fence. There we go. Cool. Um, pretty heavy near Golden Grove. Roger that. Don't say any nearer to where you are, would you? Just, just very, very wary about um, people doxing themselves. So yeah, just privacy things on the internet. Um, so northern suburbs area, pretty heavy rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all good, all good, mate. Um, just, just in case, I do have to mention it sometimes because not everyone, not everyone is aware of what can happen on the internet with information there. <sighs> so push up, go. Stepping forward, get that back leg nice and straight and make sure you're, you're powering forward with the quads. Lots of quad power here. Hips down nice and low. Push the hips forward, push the hips forward. So a really good hip opener for this one. Six more seconds, couple more reps. Nice. Knee hops. You can track me by thunder and lightning strikes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you go, I'm exactly three seconds from that, from that last thunder strike. And then Mikey will go to the map, triangulate your position. Knee hops. So step back, knee up, hop. Step back, knee up, hop. Back, hop. Health and safety tips. We got them here on FFP too. Don't let people on the internet know too much of your home personal details. Hop, step back, hop. 20 more seconds. Get that heart rate up. You can hear me breathing. You can see my heart rate in the green. This is a really good cardio movement. Get those legs working. Keep your body upright as well. Make sure you're not, you're not dipping down at the hips there. Good. Helicopters. I might actually turn the fan on. See a little bit of airflow in here. Hey, grab some tucker. All right, let's go, helicopters. So for those not what, watching in Australia, tucker is food. It's Australian for food. And Woogie, Woogie's gonna get some tucker. I don't think you can say anything more Aussie than that. Bougie's heading to the servo for some tucker. Bougie is chucking a U-bolt, stopping at the servo, grabbing some tucker and a pack of darts. That's pretty Aussie. So helicopters, keep it going, one more. Yeah. Yeah. Mikey listens to streams, yes. Yes. Darts aren't for me, man. Good human, good person. I, I still, look, to this day, it still kind of astounds me that young, I see young people smoking cigarettes. Darts is, is old Australian slang for cigarettes, team. Push up and like, we know it's a well-documented fact that cigarettes are very, very bad for you. Oh no. Oh no. What just happened? What just happened? <laughs> Whoops. What's happening? Well, did I just lose power to that circuit? Oh no. <laughs> We're gonna go, Lou, Lou. Nah, it's all good. <laughs> all right, let's go. Finish off your push gorillas team. Push, push. <laughs> nice. We've had some weird things this morning, team. We've had, we've had network drops. We've had some ooh, electronic ghosties, but we pushed through. So if you're here watching on YouTube, well done you. Make sure you check us out on Twitch because then it's live. And what you can do is uh, let me know, hey Jeff, I did one of those blue workouts and I smashed it. Check out the Discord post of my check-in. Have a look at my calorie burn, Jeff. Man, did I do well, Jeff? And I'll be like, yeah, man. Yeah, well done. Good on ya. And if you smash the blue workout, then I'd, I'd encourage you to check out one of the purple workouts. Have a look at that epic, epic tier workout. Because that'll, that'll test you. 
More sumo scissors, more in the green. We're getting that cardio burn in. Good, 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 good. Actually, this, is, this was happening yesterday on Grace's stream, wasn't it? Her lights were switching off. Um, so you, Kira Ray, um, Kitty, the skull in the background. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, we got extension plank. We're holding it for 45 seconds though, this time. So plank, hands out, extension plank. Now this is 45 seconds of extension plank. And if you're not used to this, this hold here, then give it a shot, please. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your quads. Straight line between the shoulders, hips, and ankles. And now we're also engaging the lats. We're engaging the shoulders just to hold ourselves up. We're also pushing away with our toes and our hands. You'll feel this, this external push. So quick answer to this question, how many calories do I expect to burn? Um, it's different depending on the intensity of what I'm doing. And when you're lifting weights, yeah, yeah. Before I get onto that, and when you're lifting weights, you tend to, to show your burn a lot less. Your heart rate straps will actually show a lower burn, but I'm dubious. I think it's, it's partly because the monitors don't catch up with, with your biology quickly enough, but you do tend to burn, I feel like, a few more calories lifting than what your watches show. So, this is for you, team. This one. Well done. So if you're watching us here on, on YouTube, if you had a good time with the blue one, look out for some more blue, blue intermediate level workouts, or you can test yourself by checking for a, for a purple epic tier workout. Um, or if you had trouble doing this one, if you found that there were a few movements there that, that really didn't gel, you didn't know what you were, you were trying to do, you didn't feel right, a couple of options. Pop back down to a blue entry level workout, or join us live on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash fit for purpose, and you can ask me live, because I'm here live chatting about them. So hey Jeff, this thing doesn't feel right, so what can I do to help? Um, let me know. So until next time, have a good one team, stop your watches. Get some recovery, get some sleep, get some, some hydration, um, and look after yourselves.